Hello everyone, I'm Robert Welsh. And I'm James Welsh. And this is your weekly reminder, we are not the same person. <gasps> Let's take that home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know if you can tell, but today we are doing another perfectly historically accurate makeup history. Is can care makeup history? History, very accurate. And you can probably see by looking at us exactly what time period we are in. Yeah, we are in a time period where English people went over to Egypt, took all their shit, and then just and then just it. left with it. <laughs> just was like, we're not giving it back. Yeah, we're just like, we're gonna take that. So James is. Clearly, do you want to explain? Oh, with we're, we're like from the mummy. You're Evelyn. Yes, I'm the man from it. I'm Evelyn. James I'm is the Brendan. Man. What's his name? Yeah. Despite what the wig. This said. was our attempt at being as culturally <laughs> <laughs> sensitive as possible. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So we are excavating and we are finding things that don't belong to us and being like, you know what? I'm gonna take that. That's mine. That's mine in my country. I'm gonna take that back to my country. I'm gonna charge people to look at it, and then I'm gonna appropriate the culture for centuries to come. Don't think about asking for it back because it's ours. Because it's ours now. <laughs> Let's no, get give into it, it. Fucking give it back. Listen, if there's one makeup um, or like um, time period that I could go back to and experience all their beauty, it would be ancient Egypt. Yeah, they had an obsession. Obsession is putting it lightly with beauty and attractiveness and being cleanliness was close to godliness back then um, and for some people it is now but they really really mastered the whole idea of a cosmetics trade mm. and industry I guess yeah. you could support an industry and every every level of class like from your fair holes fair holes to your not pharaohs or whatever position they were in um would be as clean as possible and took beauty very, very seriously. They were also the starts of a lot of trends. Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh. So let's talk about skincare. Uh, please, I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I said, being clean, very important. Very not like ve now times. Not like nowadays, where you <laughs> could go days without showering, wear the same clothes five days in a row. <laughs> they would harvest something called natron or natron. Which is basically like a salt, I believe it was, and they would mix this with olive oil and use that as like a body wash, basically, keeping themselves very, very clean. And exfoliate. And exfoliate. I mean, um, now that's pretty five minute craft. I mean, territory. do it on your body, fine, yeah. but on your face, probably not. But saying that again, they would just use a lot of oils to cleanse and to, you know, wash things away, um, which they have done for centuries and centuries, and we still oil cleanse to this day. It's true. We am. <laughs> That hair's changed you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be talking to you today about... Are they actually good? I mean, I, I, I would take these to the opera. To the theatre. To be fair, I can see um, better here than I can through these. Oh, can you? Oh no, look, but you can you can like, oh they focus. Oh, they're like binoculars, okay, I get it. Yeah. They would mix this with olive oil and it'd make a really like soap, almost like a soapy texture that they'd mm. brush with, well, mm. that they'd wash with. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they'd also make toothpaste out of it as well. <laughs> everything so we do sorry. together, everything. I'm so sorry. There you go. Who oh gets my God. emails? Just to make it very clear, also we are talking about the 16th century BC to the 11th century BC. Mm. Um, wait, why is that backwards? Oh yeah, it went backwards, right? It because did. It, went to zero. it did. They yeah. started counting down. You know where I learned that from? Dinosaurs. Do they tell you? On Disney they? Plus. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yes, let's talk about beauty and fragrance. Essential oils everywhere. They love them. They use about 20, 20, 21 essential oils that were actually found with bodies buried. To this day, you can still smell what the essential oils smell like. Oh, I want that. Yeah. Well, like, Just on opening your tomb and it's like... <laughs> yeah, but we used to walk around the Natural History Museum and we were scared of the mummies and we used to hold our breath in case they went inside us. Mm. Fact, you, they um, can go in the They spirits. can go inside you and take <laughs> over your life. Yeah, I would do that if I was a mummy and I could do that. That's all I would do. Like, like I'm coming back. Yeah, I'm gonna go into that museum and enter your body <laughs> and come back. <laughs> My huge comeback. <laughs> <laughs> My big Egyptian comeback. <laughs> Yeah, so being clean and smelling good was seen as protection from the evil eye, right? So that's why they were so obsessed with being clean and looking beautiful as well. 
one thing they used to do is put a, a small little comb. Some people say it was a comb, but often in the like paintings, you'll see like it's like a tiny bump, mm. almost like a it bun. Al- it almost bun. looks like an oversized baby bottle, you know, with a little nub on the end. It's like nub, big nub. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Or they were like, like this. Mm, like a bread roll, dinner yeah, roll. Yeah, like, like a dinner roll. Mm. Um, I've never called them a dinner roll in never, my life. No. Why don't you call them Because I think Americans call them dinner rolls. Do you call them dinner rolls? Or do you call them burger bats? Or bats, yeah. <laughs> um, of ox fat, that was mixed up with essential oils. And the idea is that during the day, don't touch my hair, please. During the day, <laughs> during the day, this would melt and slowly release a fragrance that would just cover them and they smell delicious. I like, and that's why they like body heat and, and fragrance. Mm. Like people are like, put oil on your chest area. And it will, it will and come And here off. and here, mm. and mm. it evaporates. I like, bet you it smelled lovely back I, then. I, I would love to smell that actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Bottle yeah, yeah. it. Bottle it. Brand idea, don't copy us. Skin, Skin up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So unfortunately I couldn't get together natron and so olive oil. why is your hair that texture if nothing has been melting in it? <laughs> this is just what my hair's like after you've, after excavating. You made it really textured, to be fair. Yeah, but that's because I I googled the mummy and my tried to get his goodness, hair. Goodness, is that a cat? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking all that girl hold. <laughs> does anyone is this does anyone own this yet? This belongs to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, one thing that they did used to do that I think we all know really is milk and honey. They would have milk bars full of essential oils, um, petals, all this kind of stuff. Mm. Again, just a good way to cleanse. That's good self-care. It's good self-care, mm. but also they would mix this with honey to work as a cleanser, mm. a full body cleanser, but also a facial mask. So we're gonna do milk and honey mask. I like that. Do you think it, they were ever like, oh, you know, I just need a me moment. Yeah, of course they were. And then that's when they really on. went for it, and when they did the petals and stuff. So we're going to put the honey in with the milk mask. And these are genuine Egyptian Tupperwares. Yes, plastic was invented back in the Egyptian oh, days. sooner than you think. Please, 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 please. But that's not even over it. Off. Please, please. This is going to take a while. <gasps> that looks so good through here. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what would have been better if I put the milk in the honey? Oh my god. <laughs> Do you have a makeup brush that you don't care about? Or skincare brushes? Not for that, I don't. Right, honey, milk, mix it together. I wonder if it would have been less milk. Probably. But I think the idea, they probably didn't know about this back then, but they might have done. But people apply milk to their skin, thinking that they're getting like a good dose of lactic acid from it, which is like an AHA, but it's not Did really Did they know about lactic acid back in Egypt times? I don't know, they were, very, they were more clever than we think. I don't think that's why they did it, and maybe they did it, but... Oh, do you know what I love is warmed up milk with a bit of honey in it. Okay, let's go. This hat's ruined stupid everything. Hat! You always <laughs> wear a stupid fucking hat when we what film these. That? Um, your water oh. spray? Why is your head to one side? <laughs> no, I'll just go ahead. Okay. Let's get this out, why? Oh, I've got to get all this mud sand on my face from all this excavating. Well, wow. I've been some to please don't drip it on my desk. Oh, I can't help her. Honey does actually have some anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Antimicrobial. So it's not the worst thing. Out of all the DIY, milk and honey is actually something that really doesn't bother me. It's quite soothing. It smells quite really calming. good. Yeah, it, it smells, smells like, like honey nut, honey nut cornflakes. It does. Oh, are we waiting for it to dry? Yeah. Now make sure you don't let it drip too much in your lady beard. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we wash it off? I don't know, what do they do? They washed, they would eventually wash it off, <laughs> Robert. Um, oh, I was just, yeah. give it a little bit more. Is there anything else we can talk about while we're doing this? No, I just got pr- pictures of Brendan Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> it was st- at- outstanding. Mm. As well as things like this to keep their skin nicely moisturized, Egyptians also used oils as an anti-aging product. Egyptians. <laughs> Essence is it. Essence is it. Also use olive, um, also use oils as like an anti-aging product. So it's it's really just that kind of like heavy, occlusive, mm, moisturizing mm. layer. Um, which, you know, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't recommend. Now we have good moisturizers, there's no need. Um, also, 
everyone wore wigs. Pretty much everyone. Yeah. They would shave their hair by choice and then wear wigs. Mm. I think they shaved their hair because it was, you know, hot, of course. Um, but also nits. I was watching this um, Egyptologist talk mm, about it and mm. she was like, nits were a real problem. So they would shave and it off. still. I mean, yeah. I quite, what What did we do? There was a time period we did and I swear there was like a primer or something that was like um, honey, no, milk? Oh, egg, milk, egg, 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 egg and milk, egg yolk. <gasps> um, Victorian? And it looked really fucking good. It did good. look really good. Do you not just have makeup wipes that we can use? Just water. Do you think they're ancient Egyptians? <laughs> Why can't we say it? <laughs> had makeup wipes. Welcome to ancient ancient <laughs> ancient in you. I feel good. I mean, I don't feel bad. I don't hate it. Would I do this out of choice? No. Oh, look, all my fake dirt's come off. Look, I'm positively. No, I'm not. I thought I was had a really good skin, but I was a camera. I focusing. am. <laughs> No, I'm genuinely glowing. I could, I can see why people did that, and maybe if you, we made it right, and it was a bit more. Honestly, honey. it's not a horrible thing to do if you have very dry skin. Mm. It's not the worst thing to do to put a layer but of. But probably honey not on. cost effective. Um, yeah, probably not the most cost effective do, thing to do in the long run. Mm. Um, mm. I mean, um, just get a heavy moisturizer, uh, even vice line. But I'm wearing gloves. You're always wearing gloves in these videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fingerless? <gasps> yeah, because I'm um, arch I'm architecturing. Yeah, you're doing architecturing. I'm like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the sun existed back then still. Quite, quite m more, even yeah, more even so. more so than it does nowadays. Yeah. So one thing they would used to do to obviously keep their skin moisturized and young, but also as some sun protection was used, plain old aloe vera gel. No, banana aloe vera from the plant, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> banana boat, the first aloe vera brand <laughs> made in the Egyptian times. Egyptian <laughs> So obviously it wouldn't have, you know, all the things that's making this a gel, but they used it just as sun protection. Did it does it have sun protection qualities? Not at all. <laughs> but I think what it does do is help soothe, but then also you have this like I, I'm guessing they might have applied it really thick. Yeah. No, maybe we should have done more research. <laughs> <laughs> They like their skin really soft, so it would have just been moisturised <laughs> in, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I can go out in the sun now and not that. No, no. This smells like pound shop we used to oh, go good. to. What if? what if this? Oh, where's all your head gone? <laughs> what if? What if? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, if only... In the film, doesn't she do this? And he's like, oh, this is beautiful. No, no isn't that Titanic? That's Titanic. She gets out of the car and she's like... I don't see what all the fuss is yeah. about. She's like, I don't see what the fuss is about. It's no bigger than the fall down or something. Something. Well, that's not rubbing in at all on my face. Yeah, how come that's happening then? I'm not sure. Can you use the back of my glove as like a white? Oh, that tissue there will do. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly. <laughs> What happened there then? I don't know. But that's it for skincare, really. You'll <laughs> notice that until like the invention of cosmetics as as cosmetics, everyone just used oil all the fucking time. All the fucking time, and honey as well. Mm. And you'll find that a lot of the makeup that was used in this particular time period actually helped protect more from the sun as well. Oh wow. Shall we? Shall we? <laughs> So let's talk about makeup. And I think when everyone thinks of um, ancient Egypt and makeup, you think of um, uh, Eyeliner. Elizabeth Taylor. That's her name, right? I don't know. Well, here's the thing. So uh, Cleopatra, who she's playing, was actually Greek. So that makeup, she might, she probably more than likely didn't use every single day. Mm. So the makeup that she does in Cleopatra that is- Cleopatra was Greek. She's Greek. Cleopatra the seventh was Greek. Oh. Um, seventh? She was the seventh Cleopatra, but the most famous one. Jesus. Um, go back to school, James. Oh. I'm sorry, we only <laughs> learned about English history and history. And when it wasn't English, it was about the war. That's the only time we touched another country. I learned about Romans. They were like, there, there were gladiators. Yeah, I was in like the lower, <laughs> I was in the low group. We just coloured in pictures of Henry VIII sheep. every day. Yeah, sheep. <laughs> so we that is kind of correct, but also not really that correct because right. obviously it was theatrical and yes glamorous. Yes and no. Yes and no. Mm. So and so. Right. So let's start with the colour of eyeshadow first. Show us what you have. 
So po popular at the time was this green. I, I think of it as like a gray green, almost like a rusty green. Like a peacock green. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the aloe vera oh my is God. in my eyebrows. <laughs> so it's made from like malachite, which is like a copper ore. So you know when oh, copper gets really rusty yeah. and you get that greeny shade, it's, it's like that. Um, so we're gonna use that. And eyeshadow was used all the way up to the brow, oh, up wow. to the brow line. So okay. I have some genuine, don't look here, genuine copper malachor. <laughs> yes, yeah, all the way to the British Museum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, face. it's so ancient and beautiful. It's so old that we actually can't show it on camera. Yeah, in case it crosses but away. But this is the kind of colour, like that, can you see it's almost like a greyish green mm. khaki, 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 almost. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take it right up to my eye. Now, we're lucky enough that we actually have a powder that can go on, but they would have maybe mixed this with something um, to give it more of a grip. Like an animal lard, like for example. Fat. They loved ox Who fat. doesn't love ox fats? Are you doing both eyes? <laughs> and here's the deal like it, when like you <laughs> like you said it's it wasn't just um rich people it was also like not pharaohs who wanted to get in on on the makeups you know because mm. it was also again like you said protection oh from I'm telling you to i'm going from brendan to karen really quick here <laughs> yeah. i'm actually just gonna cut this off you do look like an art teacher today thank you no, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, and here's the deal, right? Mm. If they could, makeup was very much um, 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 like a daily routine thing as well. So there's, I can't remember where it is, but there's this amazing uh, ancient Egyptian like makeup box. And that's an, a genuine one. Oh, it's like one. tiny, right? It's got a draw on everything. It's a good, it's a big mm. size because the mirror is quite big. Right. So it has this mirror, which is polished silver and the handle is gold. So it was obviously belongs to someone very rich. Mm -hmm. But they found cosmetics in that. As well, which is really beautiful. Sal, Sal, Sal. Let's look at <laughs> eyeliner. Yes. Now, when people do ancient Egyptian eyeliner, they do this like, yeah, and it's a little bit. You know what? It's a little bit annoying. So they. <laughs> <laughs> so there were two options we could have done with um, eyeliner. There would have been. It could have been a paint, like a black paint, or a coal, just like Sal. Oh, what is a coal? I don't know what that means. Coal is... Not as in coal. <laughs> it's a normal pencil, isn't it? Did they call it coal or kajal? Well, that sounds like a... Nothing would happen, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so coal is basically from minerals. Minerals. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was a mix of animal fats, again. Mm. We like an animal fat. Um, well, not every... You don't have to like animal fat. You don't have to. We're not telling you what to like. <laughs> so again, it was like a paint. And the way they would apply this was actually with... <coughs> <coughs> the, way <laughs> the way they would apply eye makeup, especially liner, was with. So if you were lucky enough, you would have like a metal stick. If you were a bit poorer, just a stick is fine. Oh, any old stick. <laughs> just a stick. Cool. But like a sharpened one. We actually I'm just sure they made the most coal. of their sticks. Yeah, and I'm sure that, you know, they, they just shave it down. We're gonna use a coal today because we, we're because. lucky enough to have Now, a here, stick. James, check, check this out. The, sh the ideal shape for eyes were almond shapes. So when all feline, but more almond, and when we see like, well, it's mirror down, sorry, I don't know I'm holding it. When you see like um, Egyptian art and like, especially like tomb, tombs, um, what, what? Hieroglyphics? Yeah, and no, uh, what's the thing that mummies come in? Tombs? Sarcophaguses. Sarcophagus, thank you. When you see like sarcophaguses, if you look at the eyeliner shape and the brow shape actually, it kind of heads downwards a little bit. Mm. So people usually go up and like, oh, I'm Elizabeth Taylor, and they join their yeah. brow and their liner, which was also done. But the liner did go down, like the tiniest, tiniest amount, and same on the inside corner. Mm. With the brows as well, a common shape you would see, should I just do it? Yeah, just do it. Was like, sorry, my go glamorous hair flip your hat. <laughs> I prefer that almost. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the brow, it kind of came up like this and then it almost had a dip and went like that. Oh, I like that. So it had like this really like swoopy shape. Maybe that's a little bit dramatic, but. And then for, for the liner, it kind of went down this way. So a lot of people like go up mm -hmm. and do this whole cat eye thing. Because of um, Liz, Lizzie T. Yeah. Um, but no. And then just nice and, nice and thick. Well, actually, the 
again we, we get this really see this really thick liner but then if you look at the the nefertiti, nefertiti right her, mm. her face her liner is very very thin and the colors are very muted so it's not she, actually she was like one of the original like it gals like she was, she was like the beauty icon. grace miss united states, states yeah. she she was yes yeah, that's what we think of when we think of like um egyptian beauty was she's got that face. famous bust hasn't she which is like and then her hat yeah yeah mm. her hat mm. So I'm gonna do this all around the eye. I'm gonna try and get as close to the lash luge line as possible. And then I'm gonna go around the eye. And I'm just gonna take it a tiny bit on and it's like, I look like Captain Jack Sparrow. You do, you look like- Hello, really you bad. Gavna, get on my platty sheep, you Gavna. Can I just make it very clear that he does the worst English accent ever and people always think it's really good. I thought he was English. He's not his one like I'm a vampire and yeah, a yeah, <laughs> Like so. I like that. There you go. And why you do that? No, I need to watch. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone down. Look, I look like a pirate now. Yeah, you do. Is, is that side pony? Put your hat Maybe back. I'll hat yeah, uh, now you're um, Egyptian. I'd be on a rock singing like this. It's <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Your eye cream. That's a really nice brow. Brow. That's not bad. That's no, that's really good. That no, I'm being serious. That's really good. Take it on the inside corner a little bit. Very ancient Egypt, and we all know they use this also to help block the sun. But we're talking about beauty here. Yeah, well, it's much <laughs> like how football players, well, American football players, use the blackout under their eyes. Yeah, now, listen, I really like this this liner. Angle. I really like this liner angle. Like, I don't mind it. But again, it's it's cheating the eye shape and making it more almond. And by bringing it on the inside corner, but you're turning it down on both sides. You're making mm. that round shape. Yeah, no, I actually think you've done really well. I am slowly turning into a Karen. <laughs> Um, okay, let's talk about bl bl blunt, a little bit blunt. Blush lips, as all through time. Tell us all this time. Tell Red okra. Us. Oh, really? Mixed with what? Some kind of oil or, or animal fat. So I luckily have some red okra right here. Oh, thank God. Oh, I know. And it's on a palette. And they did actually have palettes themselves as well. Yeah. This I... is a genuine acrylic one that they found. <laughs> they found they invented plastic. They did. They yeah. farmed plastic. Plastic. It grew from the shore of the Nile. And that's why in hieroglyphics you will always see plastic acrylic and Evian bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Funny, you can That's a Disney Mania version. It is, my yeah. jump five. Yeah. <laughs> actually, um, <laughs> actually, okay. when they used blush on the cheeks, it was also as a, um, a sunblock as well. Oh. So they used the colour quite sparingly. You really had to push down. I love how they just considered everything sunblock. I know. Like, why are you doing that? Because of the sun. I'm offering up to you and you won't take it. Now, I I, I think I've missed the, the colour. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> I think I've m get quite pushed in. Now, I do think I've gone a little bit off with the colour here. It should be more of like a burn orange, um, oh. as is Ectra. <laughs> <laughs> but we can just keep tapping, 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 tapping. There were many different like preferred colours. So orange was a colour, red was a colour. On the lips, like a um, black tone was also a popular Ooh, shade as well. Oh, nice. Trend setters, oh, imagine their wigs and this black lip. Can you imagine Damn. how cool that would have been? They would look... With this liner. Yeah. I want to be there! I want to be there! <laughs> how, like, royal do we look? Yeah. <laughs> and we'll do the same for the lip as well. Oh. Just a little just a little stain. And as I mentioned earlier, that uh, bus, bus, it's got a bus for head mm. of Nefertiti. is actually a stain. And I've seen people do, like, pure red, which is absolutely something they would have done. Yeah, like, full on red. And that was more to be, like, impressive, to more, like, wow people. Right, Occasions. Like, make, make your friends jealous, you know? That would have been the sales yeah. selling like, point. Like, oh, I'm going to meet my friends. Yeah. And had a pure red lip, yeah. but also a little, little bit of blush and a little mm. bit of lip was absolutely fine. Oh, I, I love this liner shape. I actually really like it. On yeah, the moon, I've, I've done it. A no, bit. it just looks great. No, 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 no. You've got a bit of villain with your eyebrows, so a bit pantomime villain. Like if you moved them down, it could be a moustache. 
<laughs> what do you mean my voucher isn't valid? <laughs> I've had this voucher for a whole year. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I don't no, have an appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you can probably hear some excavation going on in the background. Yes, it's, we've demanded the troops come over and dig everything for yeah, us. Yeah, we're like, just dig up the whole floor in They're general. like, do you have permission? We're like, we don't need permission, we're English. My permission. Yeah, the Queen's permission. Her Majesty's permission. <laughs> so, now we look like ancient Egyptians. Yes. How do you feel? I do, I'm, I've always been obsessed yeah. with that time here, period. Period. From like when I was in Skewell, I think it's fascinating. Yeah. I think there's so much innovation there. I think they're, away from ancient aliens, I believe there was more going on. I think there was such an interesting civilization who yeah. knew a lot more than we give, than we even know. I, I think when you think of um, ancient Egypt, you think of like, oh, it's so hot. Mm. Oh my God. Let's, I don't know. I don't know what's. I, I don't, don't know. know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me. I don't... <laughs> but no, there was shit going on, and like beauty was very um, high up there. Hygiene, um, religion, and practices, and all this kind of stuff. I mean, architecture. Hello. Yeah. But yeah, I've been, I've loved. I've discovered a, a, a liner shape I really like. I think you should do that. I'm gonna do that. Do this. Do like an ancient Egypt Cleopatra inspired look on Nefertiti. Yeah. And post it on Instagram and you can show your mum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you spent so long adding texture to that. I mean, it's not bad. Like the colour, like the colour and the, it, I mean, I would be like, if, that's, if it didn't have that shine to it. Yeah, but I thought it was brown, so I'm not overjoyed with it. I mean, there's brown in there. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Um, As always, please don't correct us in the comments. Yeah, please. Don't everything watch other historians. Corrected. Anything like that. Yeah, actually, are... there is um, a channel of an actual Egyptologist, which oh. I find fascinating. The we'll will link down below. I can't remember okay. off the top of my head, but there's a, they have a really good video on um, beauty in within Egypt. It's nice. Very, and they actually show the little trinket box that oh. you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> these <laughs> accurate. Um, so yeah, it's super super interesting. Interesting. So nice. definitely check that out. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, thanks again, everyone. Let us know what time period you like to see next. Um, dinosaur times. I mean, I, I, we have a lot of evidence. Yeah, we do. Poo, poo. It's all poo. <laughs> Hair mask. Poo. Poo. Eyeliner. Poo. Sun protection. Poo. <laughs> I mean, it would fire. No, it would. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks again, everyone. You can. Uh, so you can find me for more makeup tips, tricks tidbits mm. at Robert WLSH on Instagram or just Robert Welsh on YouTube and skincare James Welsh here on YouTube and James underscore S underscore Welsh over on Instagrams and you can follow us both at the Welsh Twins and the Double Cleanse podcast over on Instagram and you're on this channel now here you are here don't you forget are. to subscribe yeah how is that we're gonna go steal some more bits now. <laughs> oh, I hope there's a vase somewhere. Yeah, don't ever ask for a bag. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. This is so itchy. Well, maybe I might grow my hair out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe you should grow it out on one side only. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>